Right, welcome ladies and gents. Maybe we're seeing the turning of the tide with respect to Marvel movies because, according to Mahashala Ali, Blade will be back at it again soon, I guess. Look, of, he, this, this chap has stuck around with this movie for some bloody time. He very clearly wants this movie to be successful because I'm, I'm very, very, very certain this chap could escape uh, his contract with this movie. Due to the delays, due to scheduling, uh, just due to any number of things, actually. Uh, this guy, you know, he's a two-time Oscar winner. Loads of people don't know him from sort of, you know, general name and stuff. But he'll be in a lot of movies that you are familiar with. Uh, one, which I always go to because I, he, he, he's quite a chameleon, uh, was Predators. Uh, so he was in Predators and uh, that's where I sort of was first introduced to him. He's a good actor. Uh, I like him. And then this picture here, you can see, is his most blade-like imagery. Uh, this was actually in Alita Battle Angel. So he's in a lot of stuff. Uh, and I'm very much certain he could have left this contract by now. But he hasn't. So he very clearly believes in this project. And he very clearly wants it to be a good movie. Now, obviously, if it's a good movie... Well, whether it will or won't be a good movie uh, is another thing entirely. That remains to be seen, but he has pushed and pushed and pushed to make it successful. So maybe this is some good news. Personally, I doubt it, quite frankly, because it is Marvel that we're talking about. And at the moment, they are, you know, a great deal of poo-poo magoo. They're garbage. Uh, they have been for some time. So let's take a look at this. A uh, little bit of a recap on some of the issues that happened as well, but obviously what he said now. So there's been lots of delays and rumours. I mean, this movie is, I think it's gone through like four or five different scripts. There was a massive variety report which revealed the latest incarnation of the script had him as fourth lead. And it was a story about women and women's troubles. Excuse the language, but who the fuck wants to watch that in a Blade movie? Literally no one. You don't go to watch a Blade movie to go to watch a bunch of women procrastinating about their periods. It's not what you care about. Uh, and obviously the blood uh, sort of innuendo there was intended. But no one's interested in that in a Blade film. You don't go to watch Blade for women. You just don't. Maybe some eye candy, some TNA, but you don't go to watch it as, you know, women's life lessons. That's not remotely interesting in a Blade movie. Uh, and you would just piss everyone off royally. So that was one of the iterations, and that spawned a, quite a massive backlash online, understandably. But it's looking hopeful, because they've been changing writers here, there, and everywhere, that this is going to get some traction and will happen. Um, in fact, they literally say, well, he says, that they will be back filming soon. Which, I'm going to throw some water on my little fire that I've just built there. Uh, hopefully that means that they change the script, but we don't know yet. We actually don't have confirmation of that. So, it could still very well be that it will be about a whole bunch of women. So not only has the release date been delayed, but rumours off of Blade has been having major problems, including that Ali wasn't even the star of the movie, like I just said, and has been relegated to the fourth lead. So he spoke to EW.com, uh, the two-time Oscar winner, offered a promising update, and it is promising. And I think it is promising the fact that he's hung around for so long, just as an FYI, I think that is promising. So he says we're working on it, that's the best I could tell you. Uh, I'm really encouraged with the direction of the project, I think we'll be back at it relatively soon. Now... Hopefully, what he means by that is, it went way off the rails at one point. It was absolute garbage. And now, I've steered the ship. And we're, we're righting those wrongs. Maybe? That's the, only, that's the only positive side that I could sort of come up with there, to be fair. Um, and this article does say, you look sincere, sin sincerely encouraged. You know, the flick has gone through numerous writers and directors with Logan Wright and Michael Green now writing the flick. That's positive. I mean, Logan's a fantastic film. Great, great film. Um, and, you know, that, that sort of juggles two leads there. You know, you've got Daphne Keane, uh, X-23, if I remember rightly, off the top of my head. Uh, and then you've got Logan as well. I mean, it juggles quite a lot with that film and the tone, uh, the emotional ramifications. It's a good script. Uh, and that writer now on board with this, this Blade film, even if there is, say, a passing of the torch, which I think is absolutely nonsense if they do go down that path, you would at least know, hopefully, that it'd be written correctly. Uh, not that that means that they should do that, FYI. That's absolute... That's I mean, that's suicide for Marvel at this point, let's be honest. Shouldn't have said that word. YouTube really hates that word. Oh, my God. Anyway, so he says this further. 
says, I'm sincerely encouraged in terms of where things are at and who's on board and who's leading the way as far as the writing of the script and the, dire uh, and the directing and all that. Uh, so that's the extent of what I can tell you. Good. That's positive. That's not bad news. Um, doesn't mean it's good, but, you know, the script right, the script writer on board, that's good. Which I think he was influential in bringing him on board, just as an FYI. That is good. Uh, and this, this as well, this is good. A budget of less than $100 million. Yeah, good. There is, in no world does a Blade movie, and I'll, I'll, I'll articulate this for you, there is in no world a Blade movie, and a good Blade movie, needs to have a budget over $100 million. You know what would make a good Blade film? Blade but the raid right you ever seen the raid tower block right coming up the 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 the, the tower block killing everyone as you go massive great fight scenes they go done 100 million dollar blade movie epic that would be so good oh it's an you know it's a it's a, a, a an enclave of vampires living in a um uh you know like a tower block Blade figures it out. He's got his young apprentice with him. It's his daughter. Whatever you want to say. Cool. Fine. Boom. They go. Epic. Bit of emotional stuff along the way. Maybe she gets kidnapped for a brief bit. I don't know. Some garbage like that. There you go. You've got a pretty decent movie. It's not that difficult. The fact that this movie has taken so long to write is an indication that they have been trying to inject absolute nonsense agendas into it. And I've said this many, many times and I stand by it. Is the fact that these movies that are very cut and dry, they're very easy, you know, that the plots are not difficult, uh, the stories anyway, What the, the source material, if they're trying to adapt them and it takes years and years and years, same with Fantastic Four, it's taken years and years and years because they are struggling to find a way to inject their DEI, diversity, uh, equality, inclusion, all of that utter shite into the story that shouldn't be there. They're struggling to figure out a way to inject their agenda into the story that, generally speaking, was never there. That's why they take ages. So I've just I've just given you a movie, Marvel. Pay me later. It's not hard. Um, but they did say, look, you know, they gave me the R, which was important. So apparently it was an R rating. I mean, that's good, or is an R rating. Uh, I come out of this short film wanting to be more open, more vulnerable, and bring a more personal aspect to my work. But for Blade, we're going to have fun because Mahashala uh, Ali is a, such a great actor. Uh, I'm excited to show a kind of ruthlessness, a roughness he has that allows him to walk the earth in a particular way. I love him for that. He's got dignity, integrity, but there is a ferocity there that he usually keeps under the surface. I want to unleash that and put it on screen. There you go. Something positive with Marvel, hopefully, but it remains to be seen. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now. <laughs>